Hello, in this video, we're going to find the derivative of f of x equals 2x plus x squared using the definition of the derivative. Let's go ahead and carefully work through it. Solution. So f prime of x, which is the derivative of f at x, by definition is equal to the following limit, assuming it exists. It's the limit as h approaches 0 of what's called the difference quotient. It's this quantity f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. If you're curious, graphically, this is the slope of what's called the secant line. And so we're taking the limit as h approaches 0 of these slopes, and these slopes approach another slope, which is called the slope of the tangent line, which is the derivative. So f of x is 2x plus x squared. So f of x plus h basically means we need to evaluate f of x at x plus h. So we replace each copy of x with x plus h. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So here we have two parentheses x plus h plus and then x plus h squared. So this whole piece here that I've written, all of this is f of x plus h. That's the only thing I've written down so far. Minus, and then we have f of x. So we do need parentheses because it's two terms. So parentheses 2x plus x squared. And all of this is being divided by little h. So continuing, we have this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Here we can distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times h is 2h. Plus, x plus h squared is something you probably want to memorize. So you square the x. You multiply the x and the h and you double them. So 2xh. Then you square the h. we have minus parentheses 2x plus x squared. There is a minus 1 here, so we want to distribute that. Minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared. All of this is being divided by little h. This is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. And now we should get some cancellation. Let's see, 2x is going to cancel with this 2x over here. This is not going to cancel. Uh, the x squared cancels. And that's about it. So we have 2h plus 2xh plus h squared. And that's all being divided by h. And we still can't plug in h equals 0 because we're still getting division by 0. So now what we can do is we can factor out an h from the numerator. This is equal to the limit. As h approaches 0, I'm going to put the h here into parentheses. Let's see. We need to get 2h, so we're missing a 2. We need to get a 2xh, so we're missing a 2x. And that checks, right? h times 2x is 2xh. And we need to get an h squared, so we need an h. And that checks because h times h is h squared. And the whole thing checks, right? h times 2 is 2h. h times 2x is 2xh. h times h is h squared. And all of this is being divided by little h, which now cancels. Very nice. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. And we're left with parentheses 2 plus 2x plus h. And so at this point, we can take h equals 0 and plug it in. And when we do that, we drop the limit sign, so we just get 2 plus 2x plus 0, which I won't write. And this would be the derivative of our function. So hopefully, the video has helped you learn some calculus. If it has, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.